welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make 3D items like the block of diamond and oak planks have a 2D texture like the stick has and the diamond sword has. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. And the first thing that we will need to do is go into escape options resource pack and open the pack folder inside here we will make a new file which is going well i'm going to call it 2d blocks it doesn't really matter what you call it but yeah okay i call it 2d blocks now inside here we'll need to create a new document which is called which will need a name it's not called automatically that but it will be pack.mc meta. I made another video how to make the basics of a texture pack, and I'm going to link it in the description. But okay, for now, we go into pack.mc meta and we paste in this code. The code will also be in the description. Save the pack and then close it up. Then we will need to go into a different folder, which is called dot Minecraft, and then we go into versions. And then we need to go into our, your version, the one you play in. I would recommend going in the like newest version if the texture doesn't really matter to you. But it's your option, like do whatever you want, whatever version. But in there should be a jar button. There should be like the 1.16.4 jar. If you're doing a different version, then it's gonna be the different version of jar. But we're gonna open that. And then we have this assets folder, which we'll need to take and drag into our 2D blocks. So we paste that in, and now it extracts it from that, and we have a new assets pack in the 2D blocks. And now that we have the assets folder, we need to go in it. Then there's the Minecraft folder that we also need to go in, and over here, is all of the textures that are in Minecraft and some other stuff too but we're mainly looking at the textures so normally I would go in here but also today we need to go in the models so let's go in the models and then we need to go in the item even though the we want to make a block to the we shouldn't go in the block we need to go in the item so in the item we need to search up so I'm going to be changing the diamond block. So we go over here and you can see there's the diamond block .json. We need to open this and uh, this code actually we need to delete it and paste in a different code. So this I'll, I'll also be leaving this code in the description. So you can like copy and paste it in your resource pack without having to like do all this stuff. But then we save it, close it back up. And now we need to make the actual texture. So, okay, we go out of here, go out of here, go out of here, go into textures, and then here's all the textures. Because we, instead of going into block, we went into item, I'm gonna go into the item here, and this is every texture in Minecraft. Yeah, it's gonna take me some time to do the, like, diamond block, so here it is. Okay, so now let's make the texture, and for this we need to go into a drawing program. I use GIMP, so go into graphics. Okay, GIMP. I'm starting up GIMP here, and uh, so now I need to do file, new, and uh, each Minecraft texture is uh, 16 by 16. So let's make that. Now it is a white texture. So I need a, okay, first of all, the size of your like thingy needs to be one pixel, brush, brush. Uh, then you need to make a new layer, which is transparent. Delete the old layer, uh, okay, here. And now you have a 16 by 16. Also, you need to choose pencil if you're on GIMP. I know about other programs, but like on GIMP, you need to choose pencil to be like accurate. But okay, here's a time lapse of me doing the texture. Okay, enjoy.
how I made this diamond block. It took like a little bit of time, but okay. Now let's uh, do file and export as um, dark Minecraft. Then you need to go into resource packs. And then you need to go into 2D blocks, assets, Minecraft, uh, textures, uh, item. And then you do diamond block. No, not, not diamond boots. You need to do diamond uh, block. Okay, like that. Uh, also, if you're doing a different block, then, like, of course, name it that block. Okay, so, yeah. Do that, and uh, so I'm doing diamond block of PNG, and I export it to item. You need to specifically do item because in the code, so if I go into here, then we have the diamond block. Of course, the texture is kind of bad, but okay. So, do done, done, back to game. This is the normal diamond block texture, and also you can do any texture you want. I'm going to also show you a different texture pack that I made, like a little bit after this, but okay. So, now let's see. This is the normal 3D diamond, and now if I go to options resource packs, and I turn on 2D blocks... Don't forget about the name. The name is important. The diamond turns into this thing. It looks more like a, the, di the diamond gem. Okay, it looks kind of weird, but it looked better in the drawing drawing program. But, okay, this, this is it. Also, when you place it, it looks normal. You kind of also can do a prank with this by making the texture invisible, giving this to a friend, and then, like, them just, like, going in the inventory and it's like, Where's the inventory? And then when they take something random and they place it, then it appears. I mean, that would take a lot of time, though. Yeah, okay. I don't really think that went through, but, like, you can do something like that if you're very dedicated to it. Uh, but, yeah, that is uh, the end of this pack thing. But now I'm also going to show you my other pack. Which is a bed worst pack I am working on, so I can have like a different textures when I play bed wars. You can see one thing this used to be terracotta, and this is glazed terracotta remade. Uh, I kind of like this texture a little bit more. I don't know, it just looks really nice. It's called colored sandstone, but I'm also going to be probably making that in a different to a different texture pack because it's like a lot in one texture pack. This is all of the, like, this is all of what the thingies on one side. Also, uh, it's a thing I'm gonna be covering in another video, but you can see, uh, okay, two other videos. You can see that there is, uh, well, you see there's like a little line here on the top. I place the block above it, there's no line. Connected textures. Yeah, you need Optifine to do that, and I'm going to be doing that in a different video. Then we have some animations here for Crying Obsidian, Normal Obsidian. But the main thing I want to show you here is the beds, 2D bed icons, of course some bed faces, but so the bed faces don't appear on the actual bed. I made some 2D bed icons. These 2D bed icons also existed before, like, I think it's like in Minecraft 1.12. Until like the new version of Minecraft came out where all of the textures were remade, the beds used to look like this. So I used those textures plus like this code for the diamond block. Also I turned off the texture pack, that's why you can't see it. But I'm going to turn off the bed wars pack and you'll now see that the beds, they look like so bad in the... First of all, can I just say the terracotta? It's, it's like, it's absolutely not my favorite texture. It just looks it just looks kind of bad for some builds. It looks good, especially the cyan terracotta Yeah, the, this it looks awesome in some builds But actually the non glazed one looks kind of bad and yeah, you can see I kind of took the texture and made it into like a Cut sandstone this kind of thing, but the main thing here look bed different they're 3d they, they look so bad in item frames. They're okay when they're in the inventory. I think they look even better than the um, icon one in the inventory. But in the item frames, no. No. 
Also, if they had faces, then the faces would be on the item. It's just annoying. That's why I made the 2D textures. But that's actually it for the video. So, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you didn't watch my previous video, please do that. And I'll see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.